I have a dream. I have an African dream. Like Martin Luther King, I have a theme. If I had cameras in my mind, then this would be an award-winning film. A movie that moves Africa to a higher stage. A vision that opens up a new page. I have a dream. I have an African dream. And I don't care how hard it might seem, or how weird it may sound, I will pursue this man until I get him. I will dream this dream until it turns into a hymn. When this dream does, doom, 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 like a drum. The music so compelling, everyone will be like, I wanna join the dance, give Africa another chance. I have a dream. I have an African dream. I dream of an Africa that is free from false freedom, and that is a slave to true freedom. Now, if you do not know where I'm going with this, then at least know where I'm coming from. My name is Niyomugawa James. I was born in a refugee camp. Don't feel sorry for me. It was actually fun, cause that's all I ever knew. And how many feel the same way too? But it's not too late to save, too late to help, it's not too late to change. Now, this poem is not about fundraising. I'm raising awareness before the fire starts blazing. I speak for thousands, I speak for the millions who not only have no voice but no choice. I speak for the homeless, hopeless child, born in the wild, because home is full of blood. They killed her mama, they killed her dad, which is why she tries so hard never to go back. Where she is now, refugee is her name and foreigner is his son, and like a game they get to choose the middle name. Each country we go to gives a nickname, refugee or Kimbizi, or Taonkondo, Amakwele Kwele, you name it. But as if that's not enough, they want to take our lives. They say we took their jobs, we took their wives, but we never used force, guns or knives. Entrepreneurship is entrepreneurship. Relationship is relationship, and love knows no tribe, no race. So I stray to chase us out of your place. Love is blind, never mind. In the name of xenophobia, you fill families with fermenting fear to the point where finally the feeling feels familiar. But please, don't strike again. Don't bring people alive again. Don't kill people just because they have a different language game. That's not, that's not Ubuntu, that's insane. See, every country in Africa has its own drama. Therefore, unity should be our language and grammar. Because if we do not unite, it is inevitable that we are going to fight. So why don't you hear this dream that I had last night? or oh, had me last night. I saw Africa without countries, Africa without boundaries, Africa without wars, but peace painted at our walls, Africa without foreigners, but Africa with forerunners, Africa without refugees, but everybody happy and saying geez, Africa without the love of power, but Africa with the power of love, Africa without division, but multiplication of the addition of subtraction of this poison, Africa without a pattern, Africa without someone being underpaid. Africa without women abuse. Africa without child abuse. Africa without racism, but showing Ubuntu Africanism. Africa without corruption, but collaboration in action. Africa without democracy. Africa without autocracy. Africa without politicians, but Africa with leaders. No president, no chief, no king, nothing but Africa. And you might say I am daydreaming. But I can see this movie streaming. Africa without diseases, but an Africa full of life that never ceases. Africa without HIV and AIDS. Africa without this cancer that cancels our days. Africa without foreign aids, but an Africa that its own fans can raise. Africa without strikes, but an Africa with strides. Africa without xenophobia, but perfect love that casts out all fear. Africa without genocide, but all malice and hatred laid aside. Africa without schools, but an Africa with education. Africa without religion, but an Africa with spirituality. Africa without fashion, but an Africa with passion and compassion. Africa without photocoping lifestyles from the east or the west, but an Africa that preserves its own culture as the best and first. Africa without excuses, but an Africa that chooses to use its own resources. Africa. Africa with no replica. More can be said about Africa, but this is my African dream.